So it's finally happening. We've removed the side elevator. It's broken again, and this time we're not fixing it. We are abandoning it. Anyway, we need to take the tractor off the wagon for a couple hours because Phil's going to collect a load of rolled barley. So I'll shut this door, keep the wildlife at the grain store. Me and John are going off to Winkley with the tractor. We're getting a switch fitted to our Fergie so we can unlock the pins without having to use the computer, being a bit temperamental. First thing we gotta do, sadly, is tip out the load of scrap that is in our scrap trailer in the corner of that shed, because that is the trailer Phil needs to go and pick corn up with. It absolutely breaks my heart to see this tipped out, but it's because we're the most overcomplicated organization to pay. He's on the green, but he might be on the joystick. No, God, please, no, no, no. Yeah. Another fast thing in that area. Yeah. Where are you picking up corn from? You missed most of that, but there it is. So back up to this thing. Yeah, basically we just lifted it off with the uh, pallet forks this morning. We got to tie that up out of the way somewhere so he's not exactly spinning. Um, bring that ram back in. And we're just going to use it as a normal feed wagon. That shed up there, we'll have to use the straw blower for the time being to um, feed in there. And then we'll either rearrange the shed or swap this for a wagon with a purpose-built bed on it because what we're doing at the moment is just soul destroying every week when it breaks. Also, this is still not functioning. Uh, it's just, it's just long. John has ordered new tires, so that will fix that. Right, welcome back to the next day. If I'm being completely honest, I just didn't feel like filming anything yesterday. I was fed up with the weather and whatnot, so put the camera down, but Essentially, what happened yesterday was took that tractor into Rundles to the dealership to have the switch fitted to it. So today's Wednesday, we should have it back by Friday at the latest. Um, they're gonna do that for us. We then set two in the afternoon in our big sheep shed, mucking out the first four pens you come to. Um, cleaned all them out, budged all the sheep up a couple pens. So we've now got um, three pens either side of the shed for sign sheep and all the farm sheep that are up the top shed and now down the bottom shed as well. So we've got all the sheep due to lamb in one shed, which makes it a lot, lot easier for guys on the lambing rotor. Um, we've just been and let these out. Um, calves have all been fed this morning. Nice new, fresh ration for them. We're gonna start cutting these guys back a bit on their concentrate. The reason being, we do wanna turn them out if the weather ever allows, um, onto grazing, and uh, they won't be getting their rolled wheat and distillers grains whilst we're outside. So we're gonna start weaning them off that a little bit now get them onto a forage diet only. Over the, you know, a couple of weeks, do it nice and gradually. And then when they go out, they won't just melt away because they haven't got any concentrate. So that is the plan. Yeah, they're looking very, very good. I've just come and put a couple of blocks of silage out. We fed these guys enough yesterday to nearly see them through today as well. I put one block down there for those. Got a block for the group of cows at the end there. And I put another block there. And that calf has already escaped. So I better get out of here quick with the Manitou. There's another calf about to jump out. What an idiot! Hey! All of them are gonna come out, look. It's like they will come out for a little play date. Oh, just carry on, calf, you yeah? know? Yeah, exploring. And then the mothers come and shout at them. Anyway, I'm gonna get out of here. We've had another huge amount of rain this morning, but after today, we actually have, I think, five days in the weather forecast without rain. That is until they change their mind. No, this is content. This time, we're not trying to make momentum that's broken. We're trying to make something better. Well, let's hope so. <laughs>
We've yeeted the broken part off already. We're doing some preliminary investigations, as Dr. Phil would call it. Oh, nice. We're just wanting to see if this whole assembly here for the conveyor is only bolted on like along here and the other side the same. If it will just go that way, say the distance between those two bolt holes. You just have to cut a hole for that sh shaft to be able to go through. Yeah. Oh, I see. You see what I mean? Yeah. Because we wanted to come this way eight inches, that hole hasn't got eight inches of. No, if you cut that hole so it was level with the cross member. Yeah. You probably got about eight inches, haven't you? Yeah, you probably got it there. What about this side? Is he different? Um, well, he's got the UJ. Ah, uh, so, a bearing in there, I suppose. Uh, well, it's just the UJ is a bulkier thing, so you can't against that. Right, things have, things have progressed rather alarmingly here, to the point where we've now just started undoing every nut and bolt attached to this conveyor that we can find. It's a bit like the... It's coming apart well. Yeah, yeah. It's got to go back together, yeah? So you want 13, you said? Yes, yeah, 13. I was on with the opinion there are no good decisions or bad decisions. There yeah, was just, just decisions. Just decisions. And better the man that makes them than the man that doesn't. Yeah. And this is definitely a decision. <laughs> We're in fully committed territory now. This is all out, as you can see. No longer connected. Um, only thing stopping it from going anywhere now is where the gearbox, or the shaft comes out the gearbox. So we're just loosening that, and then hopefully we'll be able to pull the gearbox back so we can slide this that way, get it all out, and we've got to do a bit of cutting. cutting. Quite a lot of cutting. And drilling the new holes. And then we'll have to line it back up to drill some new holes, yeah. Whilst he's out, John, I think we'll take these skirts off, because we need to be able to get those coats. Yeah, we have to line those coats off. Coats up, up again, won't we? Yeah, yeah. But uh, it's currently somewhere between two and three o'clock in the afternoon, and at eight o'clock tomorrow morning, John, I want to use this to feed cows, so. No pressure. <laughs> all for the sake of seven or eight inches. <laughs> yeah. Feel free to make a joke about that. <laughs> Innuendos galore in the yeah. comments. What some people would give for seven or eight inches, John? You say that's about seven or eight inches? Oh, plenty, yeah. <laughs> so have we done the right thing here? We've got to try and get that back in at some point as well. That was one end come off beautifully. Uh, I've got a plan for that one. You've got a plan, have you? Yeah. It involves cleaning the shaft. You should always clean your shaft. Yeah. Top tip. Currently loosening off the gearbox. Proving difficult. I'm going to get a bigger bar. Maybe. <laughs> right, another development. We've dropped the tractor off, just taken off the power shaft. We've got to move this gearbox out of the way. Um, we've slackened it all off and moved it as much as we can, and it's still um, protruding through the conveyor. So what we're going to do is actually just take it right out of the way, which means that we can get the conveyor out, do what we need to do to it, uh, and then sort it all out later. It will just make it so much easier having it out of the machine to do the bit of work we want to do on it. Um, so John's gone to get the Manitou, we're going to put the forks under there, strap it to it so that it's completely safe. We were just saying we could do it with like a gantry crane type thing for lifting this sort of stuff, but um, we haven't got that. Hang on John, just move it out a little bit. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, whoop! He's fairly taut. Yeah. Should be, just full of crap, aren't they? Right, so we've got the weight of it on the forks here now and strapped on. Don's just going to take the little bolts out the bottom. Getting that back on will be good fun. Yeah, I'm fine. Well, I suppose he's in got to be an exact hole, is he? Because he's got yeah, movement. Right. You've got one yours, side, too. Yes, there's one more. Well, we're reaching. Oh, he's not hand tight. He is now. Why is it you, like you go tight and then you think, oh, I'm turning my, can't turn it with my hand. You put the spanner on there and it just falls off. Yes. Put a ratchet on there and there's like not enough no, tension not enough for it to go back. No, the ratchet, no. Right, John. Do your worst. I think you want to crowd back ever since like 30. There you go. Right, monitor me closely so I don't Bit. I'll come that side again. Crowd back ever so slightly. Rope, rope. Be right there, won't he? Right, there we are. 
Oh, he's loose, is he, that bracket? No, just a block, isn't it? Just a spacer. It's a hell of a thing. Doesn't... He's been gassed. He has been gassed. This looks like I've made it. Have you made it? No. JB, <laughs> no, I, say JB Engineering. I Enterprise? didn't make it, it's been painted. <laughs> it's not been made out of something that was something else, was yeah. it? <laughs> it's not an old RSJ. Right, well in theory. We should, yeah. How do I... Should we take the tools off it? No, let's chuck them all over the floor. And then um, try and work out where they've all gone. Do we want to take the drive off to take him off? Drive? The oil. Um, so we well, can take it right out and take, we've got to take all this skirt yeah, off. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's 19, isn't it? We've just taken the uh, oil drive off. The key is still on the drive if we are yeah. looking for it later. Um, so, so you reckon we have to take these, we have to take these off? I think we've got to take those off because there's a coach bolt heading behind. Yeah, and that coach bolt won't line up with where he's going back. No. Just take all these off. Right? But if we get rid of the tools and actually take that off, <coughs> well, we could put it across there. Oh, we just put the stick on the floor. He'd be right on the floor, wouldn't he? What's that? Just stick him on the floor, otherwise. This? Yeah. Yeah, you're fine. Have a good bit of tidying up later, John. <laughs> He's going to get heavy. He's going to be, he'll be, yeah, uh, heavy, you FM heavy. Hmm. Tell you what, can you go your end and see if you can lift it? Then if we can both lift it, we know that we can both handle it. If we can't lift it, then... Well, I can, but I can't go, I can't walk any further. If you see what I mean. So, I can be right if we come this side, shuffle him out so that we do a plan. We can come fairways on that. Yeah, slide. He is fucking heavy, isn't he? I can got my hand in the shaft hole now. <laughs> say stuff, stuff like, like that. that. Because there's nothing really to. No. He might get heavier. What happens if we just drop? No, he's gonna. Oh, he rests against there. Right, now we've got ourselves a. Do we want it braked? Uh, so potentially. Is he gonna fit right on there? Or is he gonna hang off one side? Right? Fine, fine, fine. Can we slide that? Put the um, blocks in underneath. And under the... In front of my feet. Any council feet happening? Mm, yeah. <laughs> ah, solid, turn them out. <laughs> it's stopped raining now, look. Yeah. It's drying up, doesn't it? Take the skirt off. Take the skirt off and we yeah. can see what we got. Here we are. We've dragged this over here. There's a bit of cutting needs doing. Do only a bit, only a bit. Fine. It is that envy car, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So you've got to cut out this cross member, weld another one in in the middle somewhere, widen this hole to somewhere in line with those coach bolt holes. Yeah, other than that, it's, just put it back together. And then, yeah, and just throw it back on. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Eyes and ears. I've got my earmuffs on. I'm going to stand over here so I don't get sparks chucked at me. So John's done some cutting and grinding. You see, this is now an L shape rather than a full piece of box like that. Um, so the next job is to cut these holes bigger, so that hole there needs to be extended up until about the edge of that box there so that we can put the um, power shaft through, obviously the same on this side and then we're going to weld in, we were going to weld in another cross member but there's probably still as much structural integrity in that as there was but we have got another piece cut to length we can weld in if we need to and then we've got to try and get it back on there line it up where we want it and drill some holes. Um, but that might be a job for tomorrow. I think we'll leave this one as unfinished business for this episode. And we'll pick it back up tomorrow and uh, hopefully we'll have a functioning wagon. So thank you for watching. If you haven't, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and yeah, make sure you come back for part two. Cheerio.